Hey guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to do a short drawing activity with you called Yes You Can Draw a Peacock, because yes, you can draw a peacock, and today I'm going to show you how to do it in some very easy to follow steps. All you're going to need is something to write on. Today I'll be using my dry erase board and something to write with. Today I'll be using my dry erase marker. If you have your supplies and are ready to get started, then I'm ready to show you. Here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is about in the middle of your paper or board. Oh, notice I left my paper vertical so that I have enough space to really spread out my feathers. So right in the middle of my board, I'm going to make a circle or an almost circle. And I'm going to leave it not closed right there. And I'll make two straight lines down. This is going to be the head and neck of our peacock. A peacock has a, has a little head and a long neck. And at the bottom of these two lines, we're going to make another circle. And that's our peacock's body. If you turn it on its side, it looks a little bit like a barbell, but the bottom bell is a little bit heavier. Now, from here, we're going to draw kind of like a V almost like a V, but instead of closing it, again, we're going to make two straight lines down. So there's a lot of almost a shape, almost a circle, but not quite. Almost a V, but not quite. And at the bottom of your two long legs, two long lines, you're going to make another V and another V and then you're just going to give it three little bumps. Those are your peacock's feet. They have kind of little talons, sharp little claws. Now, I know what you're thinking. Miss Norris, this does not look like a peacock. It might look like a bird, but mostly it just looks like a barbell with legs. Well, we're going to add to our drawing right now, and I'm going to help you start making this look more like a peacock each and every step. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some... Well, if we turn our board on our side, we're going to make a sad face and a smiley face. Sad face, smiley face. And when we turn it back, those are our peacock's wings. They are down at its side. And I'm going to give it some little lines on here just so that you know that those are feathers. And also some lines on the front little torso so that you know that it's covered in feathers, feathers, feathers. Now, I know what you're, what you're waiting for. You're waiting for those giant feathers. Wait for it. It's coming. But the next thing that we're going to do is that before those feathers come out, there's kind of like a bottom area of feathers. So we're going to make another circle that starts kind of in the middle of our circle and goes down to our bottom circle on both sides, and then some little roughly feathers. Looks like I'm doing uh, cartoon writing, you know, when it doesn't actually say any words, but you can, but it looks kind of like writing. I know you guys are still saying to yourselves, I don't think so, Miss Norris, not a peacock yet. And you're right. It doesn't look like a peacock yet. It kind of looks like just any other bird you might see. But we're going to start adding some more details to our face. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make kind of like a mask. Our peacock has kind of masky eyes. In the center of each of those, you're going to make your, your little eyeballs with a pupil. Now, I know what you're saying. This kind of looks like a ninja turtle, Miss Norris. No, I know it does. But it's because peacock's eyes kind of look like they're, they do look like they have a little mask on. And then they have a little black, it's white all around their eyes. And then they have kind of like a black line that runs through there. So it does look like they kind of are, are ninja peacocks. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our beak. So our beak looks like an upside down V and then a right side up V. And we're going to add two little nostrils in there so that our peacock can breathe. And now we are almost ready for the final steps. And that's what you're waiting for. I know you are. But before we do that, at the top, we're going to make 
three little crusty feathers because a peacock has, a male peacock at least, has little feathers that are at the top of its head that just make it look extra fancy. So we're going to do one line up and curve, another line up and curve, and three lines up that curve. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. The feathers! So what we're going to do is I'm going to start by kind of making my shape. I'm going to start down here at the legs and I'm going to make a line that goes all the way out on both sides because our feathers are going to extend pretty far. And then I'm going to make kind of a, a rainbow over the top of the peacock, just like this. Now you'll notice that you think this might be too much, too big, but you'll know, but when you see a peacock, its feathers are twice as tall as its head. So you need some pretty good sized feathers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to make some little lines just like this that separate my tail into some bigger peacock feathers. And what really makes the peacock's feathers peacock feathers are the design inside. Now, if you want to go back and kind of curve your feathers, you can. It's not a requirement. But they are kind of a little bit curved, and it helps you see that they are individual feathers. I'm just going to finish this up since I've already gotten started. And this is another reason I like using dry erase or a pencil when I'm drawing because then I can go back in here and I can clean up some of these areas where I drew something to get me started and to help me. And now that I don't need that, I can go back and I can erase it. Now, the cool markings on a peacock. All of its feathers look like eyes staring at its predators. So those little markings on its feathers serve two purposes. One, it kind of helps him look like a pretty cool bird to the other ladybirds. And it kind of scares other things away. So in this, I'm not going to do every feather for with you today because I think you'll get the, the idea once we get started. But we're going to make a teardrop shape in each of our feathers. I'll do these three top ones. And Inside each of our teardrops, we're going to make a little line. And then inside there, we're going to make a little circle. And you can see that if these were colored in, they're usually a, a bright color. They're kind of greenish, bluish, purplish, a little bit of goldenness. If you have a chance to check out a peacock feather, I highly recommend it. They feel, they look kind of magical and almost like they're made out of glittery, feathery stuff. And each of these looks like an eye. And throughout your peacock, you actually have a whole bunch of these little eyes because each feather has a little eye in the middle of it. And you can just keep kind of going and you can make as many or as, or as few eyes and feathers as you want and just keep filling it in and then when you're done I really encourage you to color a peacock because that's when the real magic happens. Once you add color to your peacock it really starts to come alive and it's really beautiful. Its body is frequently a very br vibrant bright blue and it has feathers that are green but a shimmery green with some other colors mixed in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited for you. I can't wait for you to try drawing your own peacock and start decorating its feathers yourself. If you liked drawing a peacock with me, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click the subscribe button down here at the bottom of the page and don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified when there's new content. I hope to draw with you again real soon. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.